Now, we can see another example in the scriptures in the book of Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. You will read about an importunate woman. An importunate woman who was asking the king to avenge her. How long did she pray? Luke chapter 18. The Lord Jesus use this example to teach us something here. Luke chapter 18, verse, from verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them in this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him saying, avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? The Lord will avenge his elect. Sometimes he may be along. Will you wait? Will you give up? The Lord said that men ought to pray and not to faint. I, I want to let you know something. That the Lord God Almighty is waiting for you during the hour of prayer. I want you to have that feeling. We need to know that any time we have set that is a prayer time, the Lord is waiting. Just like today, we are in this forum to study the word of the Lord. The Lord is waiting for us. And if the Lord is waiting, and we ourselves, we are not even in the mood to pray. We just pray one minute and we are tired. We pray five minutes, we say, Lord, we are tired. We pray, we say, okay, ah, I will pray tomorrow. Tomorrow you come again, you, you are tired. But the Lord has been waiting. Just imagine somebody who has war. You know, you have spiritual warfare. You have attacks from here and there. How will you just pray one minute to say you are done? How will you pray five minutes to say you are done? How will you pray even one hour you say you are done? Whereas the Lord is saying, pray so that you not enter into temptation. Look at the unjust judge. He said, I will avenge this woman of her adversary. I will take care of this case so that this woman will not weary me. What of your heavenly father? What of my heavenly father? The Lord says, I will avenge speedily. I will respond to your prayer speedily. But the problem is that many of us are not praying. And because we are not praying, we are not giving God. We are not giving God things to do. Mm -hmm. Another reason why we need to pray is that God is looking for intercessors. Oh, my, oh, my. The Lord is looking for intercessors that will stand in the gap. There is a need for intercessors. The Lord wants to raise a body of intercessors in this end time. People that will look and say, okay, there is a need. I need to plunge into this need because there is a divine need. There is a divine need for intercessors, for somebody to pray and stand in the gap. Let's go to the Bible, the book of uh, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah 59, verse number 15 to 16. Isaiah 59. I believe after this message, the Lord is going to raise an intercessor. The Lord is going to raise an intercessor that will stand in the gap because 
Heaven is in need of you. I'm speaking to somebody. Heaven is in need of you. The Lord has called you as an intercessor for a long time. You have not been standing where he has placed you. Isaiah 58 from uh, 59 from verse number 15 to 16. Let's go. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. The Lord saw that there was no judgment. Let's go and see what verse number 16 says. And he saw that there was no man and wondered, the Lord wondered, that there was no intercessor there. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness, it sustained him. The Lord sought for an intercessor. There was no man. So his arm brought what? Salvation unto him. Mm. His arm brought salvation unto him. The Lord is seeking for a man, a woman that will stand in the gap. You know, knowing that prayer is the will of God. Intercession is the will of God. And when, when, when we talk about intercession, intercession means you are not even praying for yourself. You are praying for other people. Supplication. Now then you are praying to God about your own need. But now as an intercessor, God wants you to stand up for other people. Just like brother Daniel was an intercessor for the Jews. A time came, Daniel began to meditate on the word of the Lord that he gave to Jeremiah because the Lord prophesied during the time of Jeremiah and said that, that his people will be taken into the land of the Cordians and they will stay there for 70 years. And brother Daniel started interceding, started praying unto the Lord saying, Lord, when will this thing be? You see, the prayer of Daniel and his fasting then made heaven to open. Heaven has to do something. Heaven will do something for you when you pray. Heaven will hear you when you are going to stand as an intercessor for America. You will stand as an intercessor for Africa, for Europe, for Asia, for all parts of the world. Heaven will open you may not know that the Lord has given you the capacity to pray. The only thing the Lord is looking for is willingness. Daniel prayed. The Lord sent angel, uh, angel Gabriel to bring the answer he was uh, seeking for. Angel Gabriel was withstood by the prince of Persia. The Lord still has to do something. The Lord prevailed by sending Angel Gabriel, the, uh, the warrior and uh, the Angel Michael, the warrior angel who helped Angel, Mike, uh, angel Gabriel. And then Angel Gabriel brought the news to Daniel. And Angel Michael fought the prince of Persia and prevailed. Beloved, as you stand in the gap as an intercessor, no prince of Persia will, will, will stand your prayer. Every obstacle will be brought to nothing because the finger of the Lord is upon your life. But what the Lord is saying, I need an intercessor. Many of us are complainers. We complain about the political situation in America, complain about the political situation in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in South America, Central America, everywhere. But we don't have time to pray. We look at the news and we are overwhelmed. We read the newspapers. We are almost dumbfounded and tired. But the Lord is saying, he that observes the wind will not sow. Hey, Marco Zanta, if you are observing the news, observing the occurrences in the world, you cannot pray. But the Lord is saying, believe my word. Stand in the gap for my people. Daniel prayed. I heard Daniel, when you pray, I will hear you. I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The Lord does not change. He needs people that will stand in the gap. Yeah.